This is the fourth video in our series looking at how we set up and configure a Google Nest Wi-Fi mesh network. In our previous video, we looked at how to configure a Google Nest Wi-Fi router using the Google Home app. However, as you more than likely purchased Google Nest Wi-Fi because you wanted to create a mesh network, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you add a Google Nest Wi-Fi point to an already configured Google Nest Wi-Fi router. A mesh network is simply a collection of wireless nodes that are interconnected. As these nodes are designed to piggyback off of each other, each wireless node will broadcast the same radio signal, which in turn will allow our wireless network to cover a wider area and hopefully reduce the possibilities of wireless dead zones in our home. In order to create a Wi-Fi mesh network, we will need to add a Nest Wi-Fi point to the Google Nest Wi-Fi router that we set up in our previous video. However, as we need to ensure that our Nest Wi-Fi router can detect our new Nest Wi-Fi point. While we set up our new Nest Wi-Fi point, we need to ensure that it is placed close to our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. Before we can start, we need to power up the Nest Wi-Fi point and wait for the following notification. Hi, to get started, use the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. If we now open the Google Home app, you can see that our Google Nest Wi-Fi router has already been configured. In order to add a Google Nest Wi-Fi point to our Google Nest Wi-Fi router, we first need to select the Add button. From within the Add and Manage panel, we now need to select the option Setup Device. Next, from within the Setup panel, we need to select Setup New Devices. We now need to choose a home for the Wi-Fi point we're about to set up. When we select Next, the Google Home app will look for new devices. After a short delay, the Home app should find our new Google Nest Wi-Fi point. By selecting Next, our mesh network is prepared and we are prompted to either manually enter a setup code or scan the QR code provided on a sticker on the bottom of the Wi-Fi point. As the QR sticker can easily fall off, we will manually enter the setup code. The setup code is an eight digit code consisting of numbers and letters. You will find the setup code etched on the rubber base of your Wi-Fi point. After entering the setup code, when we select next, we are connected to our Wi-Fi point. As the Wi-Fi point is also a smart speaker, you should hear the following sound. After selecting yes, we are asked if we wish to share device stats and crash reports. For this setting, we have decided to select no thanks. We're now asked to choose a location where we will be placing our new Wi-Fi point. As we are currently not sure which location would be the best place for our new Wi-Fi point, for now, we will simply choose family room. However, later in this video, we will be discussing the basic principles for positioning Google Nest Wi-Fi points around your home. When we select Next, the Wi-Fi point is integrated into the existing wireless network that was created by our Google Nest Wi-Fi router. We are now prompted to turn on Wi-Fi router and point usage stats. However, for this option, we decided to select No Thanks. When prompted to turn on Nest Wi-Fi Cloud Services, we also decided to select No Thanks. As the Google Nest Wi-Fi point also acts as a smart speaker, we are now prompted to set up Google Assistant. After selecting Next, we're provided with information about Google Assistant. 
As we scroll through this information, we can choose to turn this feature on. However, we have decided to select No Thanks. Next, we're asked if we wish to get the full assistant experience. However, once again, we've decided to select No Thanks. With our basic choices now made, when we select Next, we're asked if we wish to teach our new smart assistant to recognize our voice. As we're not really interested in any of the smart assistant features found in our new Nest Wi-Fi point, once again, we will select No Thanks. When prompted if we are sure, we're going to select I'm sure. Next, we're asked about getting personal results, but as we've said no to other personal settings, we will select no thanks. We are now asked to enter our address. However, once again, for this option, we've decided to select not now. When asked if we are sure, we will select I'm sure. We are now asked if we want to set up another Nest Wi-Fi device. However, as we currently do not have a second device, we will select No. The connection between the devices in our new mesh network are now tested and we're presented with a report on the status of our network. We are next asked if we want to be informed of Google hardware products, features and services. For this option, we will select No Thanks. Our Nest Wi-Fi point is now checked to make sure that it has the latest updates. Finally, we're presented with a report regarding our Wi-Fi network. When we select Continue, we're presented with information about what Google Assistant can do. By selecting Finish Setup, we're returned to the Google Home panel. As you can see, the Home panel displays devices by grouping. So our new Google Nest Wi-Fi point has been grouped with other devices in the family room. We're now ready to position our Wi-Fi point somewhere in our home. According to Google, you need to ensure that your Nest Wi-Fi point is placed close enough to your Nest Wi-Fi router so that the two devices have a strong wireless connection. However, you will also need to ensure that the Wi-Fi point is positioned far enough away from the Nest Wi-Fi router so that it can extend your Wi-Fi coverage. So we would suggest that initially, you try and position your Wi-Fi point roughly one or two rooms away from your Google Nest Wi-Fi router. Next, when positioning your Wi-Fi point, you should place it in an area away from other objects that could block your Wi-Fi signal. You will also need to ensure that there are power sockets near to where you place your Wi-Fi point. Finally, after positioning your new Nest Wi-Fi point, you should run the Wi-Fi mesh test for a second time. If we return to the Google Home app and select our Google Nest Wi-Fi point from our list of devices, you will find at the bottom of the panel an option called Run Mesh Test. When we select this option, our mesh network is tested and we can see if we need to change the position of our Google Nest Wi-Fi point. So to summarize, in this video, we looked at how you create a mesh network by configuring a Google Nest Wi-Fi point with a Google Wi-Fi Nest router. We then discussed repositioning the Google Nest Wi-Fi point so that we can extend our wireless network. Finally, we ran a mesh test to check that we had positioned the Nest Wi-Fi point close enough to our Nest Wi-Fi router. In the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at how you can repurpose a first-generation Google Wi-Fi router by adding it to our new mesh network.